I Rock Radio, the world headquarters of rock broadcasting live from the Webster Theater in Hartford for the Coors Light I Rock Radio birthday blowout. I am Stephen Wayne, and this is Devour the Day. Hello. There. Yeah. Hi. Come on. Yeah. Woo. Get your pull. Yes, How are you guys doing? First and foremost, Excellent. thank you very much for coming in this morning really early. Studio 64, these guys did a killer acoustic performance for us early this morning. And we're going to have that up on the iRockRadio.com YouTube channel. But thank you very much for coming in today. You guys really killed it. Thanks. It was, it was great this morning. Thank we really you. A lot of fun. A lot of fun. Thanks for having us. You guys must have been on the road now for like five years. <laughs> it feel like five years. Well, this band's been together for two, two and, and a half, half years. Yeah. So uh, we've been hitting it pretty hard. And... Uh, of course, we'll continue to, especially with next year coming up with our release of uh, this next record. So you'll be seeing a lot of us, hopefully. So, so the band uh, has its, its nucleus now, but you guys all came from different directions, didn't you? Uh, him and I especially were in another band called uh, Egypt Central. I remember Egypt Central. Yeah. Indeed. Uh, Indeed. And then our singer quit, uh, long story short, and uh, we didn't feel like stopping. Uh, we still wanted to make artwork, and so we did. And it's been better for it. Actually, really. So yeah. So you guys, now you're a new band. Even though you guys have been around for a while, and we were talking about this earlier on, your connection with bands like Pop Evil. You know what I mean? So how is it going out on tours like this? I mean, you're you, you're veterans, but you're still like a new band. How is it going out with tours like this? I'd say that there's a different vibe with this band with the connection with the audience. It seems like. This band has a, a, a true connection with the audience rather than like, oh, yeah, I know that band, and yeah, oh, I think I've heard that song on the radio. So it seems like when we play shows, people don't just know Good Man or Respect or Move On, the songs that Faith. They know every song, and they know all the words to all of them. And I think that that's, that's the obvious... Well, that's just my perspective, because I was behind the kid on the, in the last band, so I don't really know... What the hell was going on right. out there? I just know now that I can see the faces and everything, it's a lot right. different. But well, social media has just exploded music, which is a great thing. I mean, you know, it's, it, it must help you guys out a lot. I mean, when you were in Egypt Central, now you guys are like, oh, you know, we got to go the conventional way. And now with social media, like your first single was way ahead of the rest of the album, so it was great. We were playing it since day one, so it was great. But so now everyone gets to know this through social media, so it's a whole different ball game now, isn't it? Uh, yeah, I think we uh, kind of explore the no rules section of how to pursue music these days just because uh, everyone tells you you need a ballad, you need this, you gotta do these things, all these, and we've kind of ignored all of that. Um, and it's working out really well for us. I mean, even with the song Faith, uh, we didn't put it on any particular record, we didn't have any particular agenda except that we wanted our fans to know that uh, we love music as much as most people love God. So uh, for us, it was just, um, you know, Let's do everything that everyone else isn't doing. Is uh, that going to be out. something you do in the future now? Would, uh, I know this tour is going to be wrapping up in a couple of weeks. What's the plan for 2016? We're going we're gonna to release this new record, Soar. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's a lot of tracks on there that are a departure from the music that we've made before. And we've always seemed to, to find inspiration through other artists that just do what they want to do. And they have you know, a reckless abandon for what's popular or, or what's trending. And, and I think that that's what we're most drawn to as musicians. So um, we took some chances on this record. And I think that uh, as songs get released in the early next year and uh, as we play some, some show, we're going to play a couple of the songs tonight. So awesome. you'll, you'll hear the difference in, in this, the maturity that we have now in our band. And I think that, uh, I think that it's, gonna, it's a good thing for us, you know, because we're growing as people, growing as musicians. And... We're just really excited to play some new music, too, because awesome. we've been playing the same stuff. Well, that's what we're all about at iRock Radio, the world headquarters of rock, the new music and being reckless, too. So you kind of found a new home right here. Thank you guys very, very much for, for doing the show us. for Absolutely. us. It's thank our you. birthday. And we thank you very much for Happy spending birthday. it with us, man. Happy birthday. Happy yeah. birthday. How old are you? You're one? Uh, we're one. <laughs> <laughs> at a couple of zeros. We are at the Webster Theater for the Coors Light iRock Radio birthday blog. Tickets still available. Ticketfly.com or come on down to the box office. Give it up for Devour the Day right here. Thank you. And we'll be back. The world headquarters of Rock I Rock Radio. Come on. You wear me out. I don't want to be tied down I'm not done fighting yet I know I gotta move on Move on No, I'm not done 